Ah, markets are and always have been special places. They're an important part of a city's social fabric. My great-grandfather, Fluvio, Fluvio Bordelot, who inherited his mother's sense of poetry, used to say that the market was an island unto itself, the heart of the city and the soul of the people. One thing for sure, the port's market changed quite a bit over the years. At the end of the 17th century, people gathered at the small market on Place Royale next to Pointe à Calière. In the first half of the 19th century, the market was moved to the Marché Neuf on Place Jacques Cartier. And finally, to feed the ever-growing appetites of the city, Bon Secours Market, right here on the other side of De La Commune, was opened in 1847. My great-grandfather, Fluvio, owned a great little cheese stall in the Bon Secours Market. As a matter of fact, that's where his sister, my great-aunt Rosemé, who was always a great help behind the counter, met her husband, the foolhardy Tom Poisson. Anyway, business was good at Bon Secours Market, very good. But as big as it was, it couldn't accommodate everyone. Stalls would overflow along Des Commissaires, today's De La Commune Street, and shopkeepers would try to catch the eyes of shoppers looking for fresh bargains by shouting out the superior quality of their products. To do business in Bon Secours Market, shopkeepers had to rent their small space through a bidding process. Of course, the stalls facing St. Paul Street were the most popular and the most expensive. My great-grandfather, who didn't have the means to pay for one of the more lavish stalls on St. Paul, rented a space facing Des Commissaires Street, although, according to some, that didn't stop him from overpowering the old factory senses of the more fortunate clients on St. Paul with the <laughs> breathtaking perfumes of his cheese. All the same, Bon Secours Market was very special. A great place to watch and meet people, all kinds of people. Genteel gentlemen, savvy sailors, lovelorn ladies, as well as country folk, city folk, merchants, and wholesalers. In those days, Bon Secours Market was a major symbol of the city's prosperity. Its long facade and its great big dome would make quite an impression on travelers arriving in Montreal by boat, which, in a way, brings us back to Le Fleuve Saint Laurent, the mighty St. Lawrence River. So, if you don't mind, I'll see you in a few minutes in front of the river behind the Bon Secours Pavilion. <laughs> 